for a sunset bop. Oh, oh, got it. In the middle of the ring. And follows it up. Could it be? Now follows oh, up. Good. She got it. Queen's Gambit. She got it. Cover. Is this it? The age of the Virtuosa has returned. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, uh, as I was saying in my last video with the Steve Macklin victory over Kushida, we also had the Women's Knockout Championship that was also vacant as well. So, it was a historic night where both titles were vacant. I think they said this is the first time in pro wrestling history, maybe like on, on a main brand type deal where... Both championships were vacant. And so, uh, like I said, the knockouts title was vacant because Mickey James uh, vacated her. So, Macklin um, was the other champion who ended up winning the men's uh, belt. So, we had, we had Jordan Grace and Deanna Perrazzo going at it. And one of the things that I want to say before going into this match is that Deanna Perrazzo character... Which I guess is like, I don't know, like a tweener right now because she hasn't really been full on heel, but she still had more of her heel persona working on her. But like lately it's been just a little bit more going towards like, um, like this good mix between, you know, you guys know what I mean? Like it's like a good mix between, um, pretty much like, a heel and a baby face because before the match, you know, her and Jordan Grace has a, nothing but respect for each other. They shook each other's hand in the ring. We know that's rare, <laughs> as the commentators are telling us before and after the match. Um, but this was a pretty good match, though. Um, and we knew what it was going to be. These are the, to me, these are, outside of Mickey James, these are the top two women wrestling wise, not only in the company, they might be two of the top five in all of women's wrestling right now. Uh, at least top 10. Uh, maybe on the great, Jordan Gray side, maybe at least top 10. Deanna Perrazzo is definitely like top two or three to me. Like, she might be on top right now as the best women's wrestler in, let's say, at least in WWE, AEW, and Impact. You know, if you want to go beyond that, go New Japan Wrestling, some of those overseas women's promotions or whatever, but I'm going to tell you what, at least in those three companies, I think Diana Perrazzo is maybe the best. And she's grown the most. And she proves for the young wrestlers out there, the young female wrestlers out there that might be green right now, that you can get to this level if you put in the work. Trust me, Diana Perrazzo starting off was rough. All right? She was rough. And this is why I, I don't really... This is why you don't hear me when I talk about, especially because I mainly focus on females. When it comes to pro wrestling, I mainly focus on females. I still focus on the men at times, but it's mainly a direct focus towards the females. I love female wrestling, women's wrestling. But I want to say that you you never heard me talk about, oh, this, this, this girl is so awful in the ring. Get her out of there. She should go ahead and retire. You know why you never heard me do that? Because the girls like Deanna Perrazzo, I know they can get better. As long as they show me a little bit of athleticism, I know they can do it if they put in the work. I know they can do it if they put in the work, man. Because Deanna Perrazzo showed everybody that you can be going from the bottom all the way to the fucking top, man. And Deanna Perrazzo is at the top right now to me. She solidified it yesterday. With the way she performed. So let's get into it. This is a really good match. Um, I think it went longer than the men's match um, before this. A little bit longer. But let's get into it. So at the point where Perrazzo took Grace down. And went for the uh, Fuji Raw um, armbar finisher that she has. Grace rolled into a pin for a two count, right? So Perrazzo hooked Grace into a uh, Venus de Milo, uh, Milo, but Grace reached the ropes with her feet to break it, right? 
So Perazzo uh, hit Grace with a forearm, but Grace came right back with a spine buster for a two count. And this is a hard spine buster too. This one reminded me of uh, whose spine buster was that at NXT? Was that um, was that Indy Hart? Yeah, Indy Hartwell had a hard spine bass spine buster. Grace's was just as hard. As I heard the impact on Deanna Perazzo's back, man. It was vicious. But both wrestlers got to their feet. Grace clubbed Perazzo a couple of times and ended up hitting her with the Grace Driver for the finish. Uh, Grace, the Grace Driver finisher, which resulted in a near fall. Grace placed Perazzo on top of the turnbuckle and went for a super uh, superplex. And Perazzo fought back and performed a sunset bomb. And then Perazzo hit the Queen's Gambit Power Driver and got the three count for the win. Now, also a little early in the match, uh, Jordan Grace put her in that uh, that sleeper hold as well, and Perazzo looked like she had a little bit of trouble getting out of it. So, uh, unlike Mickey James, who actually tapped with it, she didn't tap with it. So that was a spot early in the match too that was very important. But Deanna Perazzo for the third time gets the Knockouts Championship. Jordan Grace is also a two-time champ as well. But Deanna is now the three-time champ. She is, to me, she's turning herself into a legend in Impact Wrestling. I think she's going to go down as the best knockout championship, uh, knockout champions to ever do it. And I can only hope Tessa Blanchard comes back and challenges her for the belt one day. Uh, that, there's been some, there's been some hints that maybe, maybe Tessa Blanchard. At least by, I won't say this time next year, but at least by next year, I think she'll be back in Impact. I really do. I think she's going to start back there before she goes and thinks about WWE or AEW. I think she's going to go and start out and, and renew her image and in Impact. Um, I do think she's going to go back. But Deanna Perazzo, really good victory for her. Let's go to the poll. See how this one went. Nice turnout. Over 500 votes before... At the time I'm doing this, this poll wasn't even up for 24 hours yet. And this is pretty high for an Impact Wrestling poll on my channel, 514 votes. It was only beat by the hardcore match with uh, Team Dreamer and Team Bully Ray. But uh, 514 votes, 37 likes. Thank y'all for the uh, the turnout. Y'all got this one right. Deanna had 75%. Jordan Gray's 25% in this poll, so thank y'all for voting. But yeah, let's see what's next for... Uh, Deanna Perazzo, this is Jordan Grace's rematch, so she probably won't be back in the title picture for a little bit of time here. Um, they both showed each other great respect, so I think that I think they're going to be done facing each other for now. Um, Mickey James did not come out, so if y'all was wondering if she came out, she did not come out, and I'm glad she didn't in this point because Deanna needed her moment, and I think that. If you want to do something like that, save it for later. Save it as a surprise. Maybe a slam anniversary or later in the year. Bound for glory. Something like that. Don't have Mickey come out for a little while. Let her take her vacation. Then come back and say I'm here and I'm ready to fight you, Deanna, for the title. So, but the question is, who's going to be next? I think Giselle Shaw has put in some good work. Tasha Steele, since she's been, since she's been back, has put in some good work. I think those are some candidates. Uh... She, Deanna just faced Giselle, but I, I like to see them run that back for the title, though, if they can run that back for the title. So I think that could be on the docket, but let's see. Uh, let me know who y'all think is next, man, in the, uh, the comment section. Go ahead and get this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I may do Impact this week, but I'm not sure. The Fallout, if you're in Toronto, enjoy the two TV tapings tonight and tomorrow night. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.